Final game of a four-game series. As the Astros will try and split a four-game series against the Blue Jays. Now, Zay Barrios, as we mentioned in the open, has been pitching very well of late. He has a 5-4 and four record with a good ERA at 366. Here's a ground ball sharply hit down to third. Matt Chapman with a nice play to get this ball game going. Yeah, Matt Chapman, he missed the game with an ingrown toenail. He's back in there, makes a nice play, writes himself, and fires across the diamond. Here's Alvarez, two-run home run yesterday. A 2-2 to Alvarez. Low liner, scooped on a bounce at first base by Guerrero. Waves away Barrios, jogs to the bag, retires Jordan Alvarez. And the Astros in order, one, two, three. You're looking at Fromber Valdez. 2.16 is at ERA. That's good for fourth lowest in Major League Baseball. There's a nice pitch. Fromber Valdez gets George Springer to start this game on a strikeout. Well, Springer goes down looking at the curve, and that is the first out in the bottom of the first. Fromber picks up another strikeout, getting Bo Bichette here. Back-to-back -back strikeout. Springer looking and Bichette swinging. Swing and a miss. Fromber does end up striking out three in the first, getting George Springer, Bo Bichette, and Matt Chapman. That curveball working early. Alex Bregman stands in against Jose Barrios. Bregman got the day off yesterday, his first this year, hitting 250. And Bregman clubs one deep to left field. It sends back Merrifield. Looking up. See you later. Over the Blue Jays' bullpen for Alex Bregman. And the Astros have a 1-0 lead. Bregman's ninth of the year. There was no doubt about it as soon as it cracked off his bat. Just the noise alone as Alex Bregman took the first pitch and just shook his head like, yeah, okay, I got you. Wait for this swing. Barrios walks Tucker, and Kyle is bored with nobody out for Jose Abreu. But Barrios has also struck him out 16 times. This time he grounds one into left field for a base hit. That's the 18th hit he is. Picked up against Barrios, a little grounder that found its way in the 5-6 hole. And two on with nobody out, and here's the left fielder tonight, Chaz McCormick. There's a line drive. That's a base hit. Tucker is going to be held up at third. The bases will be loaded. So now Jake Myers will bat. Jake's driven in a couple with a double against Barrios. Just two career bats. He's one for two with a double. And Jake does put it in play. Grounds it to third. They're going to turn two, so Myers won't get an RBI, but... The Astros do get a run. It's now a 2 nothing game. Now two down here in the second. So two on him. Now here's the other left-handed hitter in John Schneider's lineup tonight against Robert Valdez, Kevin Kiermeyer. And that did hit him. Uh-oh. Hopefully mm, he's in some pain. Hopefully nothing too serious. But Kevin Kiermeyer is feeling it. And he's in a lot of pain. 96 miles an hour right in the wrist. The Blue Jays skipper along with the trainer still shoulder to shoulder with Kiermeyer. Taps him on the back. KK's going to stay in. Bases loaded, two down for George Springer. And Springer bounces one to short. They'll go the short way to force Kiermeyer. Robert works out of a bases loaded situation. Still 2 0 Astros. It's Corey Jolks pinch hitting for Jordan Alvarez in the third inning. For Jordan Alvarez out of the game with discomfort in his oblique. Now, Tuve on the go, and it's ball four as Barrios walks. The pinch hitter Corey Jolks first and second now one out for the guy who started the scoring with a home run. Rounded to short. Bichette, Espinal, Guerrero. A double play. And that gets Barrios and the Blue Jays out of it here in the top of the third. On Kevin Kiermeyer. This is after Kiermeyer came off the field at the end of the top of the third. And he goes right down the steps. And then moments later. Dalton Varsho putting that defensive card in his back pocket. Yeah. And Schneider looks like he's saying, Listen, he's out. you're in. Yeah. Dalton Varsho is officially in the game. He is out in center field. Kevin Kiermeyer is out. Back to back walks here in the fifth in this two nothing ball game. And you got Bo Bichette at the play. Well, I don't want to say he's rattled because I don't think that's accurate, but he's kind of looking a little bit different this inning than he's looked the first four innings tonight. Ground ball right side. Abreu backhands. Goes to second for one. Pena does not try to make the throw to first. It'll be first and third with one out. Bichette's not going, and it's ball four. He went off speed, Buck, and he walked him to load the bases. Yeah, that's the third walk in the inning, fourth in the game. We just have to take advantage of the situation. Valdez has it. Throw to second, they get one, but they don't get two. As Varsho comes in to score, Chapman aboard on a fielder's choice that has the Blue Jays on the board. As Valdez, a little awkward throw, hesitation, that may have cost him. Frustrated again, and they couldn't quite turn it, and that gets Kirk to the plate. Fly ball, left center, he's hit it pretty well, and it's over the head of Myers. 
Jones. It'll skip out of play. So Chapman will have to go back to third, but a run comes in on the RBI double by Kirk that has tied the game. Out of the reach of Myers, out of the turf and over the wall. Alejandro Kirk delivering straightaway center field. Runners at second and third now with two down for Brandon Belt, who has walked and struck out. Lined in the right of base hit. Chapman is home. Kirk is heading home. And is out at the plate. He gives the Blue Jays the lead. Chapman is in to score. Here comes Kirk. The throw to the plate is in time. But they get the go-ahead run on a clutch two-out RBI single by Brandon Bell. And it's a 1-2-3 inning for Jose Barrios, retiring 10 of the last 11 he's faced. Midway through the six. 3 2 Toronto. Espinal puts a pair in scoring position with his two bagger. So now there are two outs, and the batter is Bo Bichette, 0 for 3. A little tapper. Bregman's going to have to charge. Bare hand throws. That is picked by Abreu, and that is a great job by Maton getting out of a big jam. Second and third, nobody out. Right, Bregman charges, bare hands, throws low. Abreu scoops it, and the inning is over. Nice play on both ends. Jimmy Garcia making his 28th appearance of the season. So two on with nobody out for Jake Myers, the center fielder who is one for two. Throw down to second. They got Abreu hung up, and Chapman will put the tag on him, sliding into third. Well, what a play by Alejandro Kirk. He was looking at first base to make a throw, and when he did, Abreu took a couple of steps toward third, and Kirk fired to second. So now runner at second, two down. For the number nine hitter, Martin Maldonado. Got him. So the Astros start with back to back singles in the seventh, but they can't score. Seventh inning stretch, still 3 2 Blue Jays. And Swanson gets the top of the order. Pena, Altuve, and Jelks. Jeremy Pena stands in 0 for 3 tonight. Nice play by Swanson. Oh, and out at first. What a play by Guerrero to dive back to the bag in time. Oh man, what great reactions because the throw was up that pulled him off the base, but he had the presence to tag the base with his glove. A high throw handled by Guerrero, and then he lunges back to the bag. Two quick outs, four pitches thrown. Jose Abreu is two for three. The 0-2. Got him. And the Blue Jays buck take three out of four and win the season series from the Houston Astros.